the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are likely to head to Balmoral Castle, to spend some time with Harry's grandmother, which is customary for royal family members during the summer holiday. The royal family often spends quality time together by going for walks on the estate, having picnics and cooking barbecues. The Queen is taking time off from her busy royal duties by spending a significant amount of time at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. During the first week of August the longest-serving monarch will inspect the battalion of the Royal Regiment of Scotland, who provides security during the royal's stay. Princess Eugenie once insisted the Queen was most happiest at the historic castle. She said, it's the most beautiful place on earth. I think Granny is the happiest there. Walks, picnics, dogs, a lot of dogs there's always dogs and people coming in and out all the time. Family wise we're all there, so it's a lovely base for Granny and Grandpa to be, for us to come and see them up there where you just have room to breathe and run. It will be Meghan Markle's first holiday in Scotland after her royal wedding to Harry in May. The Duke of Sussex took his then girlfriend there in September, just before their engagement was announced. Newlyweds Meghan and Harry could attend the Bramer Gathering on Royal Deeside, seen as the biggest event in the Highland Games calendar. Members of the royal family are typically present for occasion, which always takes place on the first Saturday in September. The Queen also hosts an event dubbed the Gillies Ball that is a highly anticipated dance, during her time in Scotland. The 50,000 acres offers the privacy that Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip look for during their summer away from the public life. Balmoral Castle has been the Scottish home of the royal family, since it was bought for Queen Victoria by Prince Albert, in 1852 for £32,000, having been first leased in 1848. The property remains privately owned by the Queen, as is Sandringham, and is not publicly funded.